Welcome back to Let's Play 3D Dot Game Heroes! No, we're not where we left off last time, because we need to tackle block defense. And so I've gone all the way back to, um, the one foresty house place person thing. Because the old lady right here will let us play the first level of block defense. Sure do. There are several levels, like five block defense levels. Block defense is a typical tower defense with some interesting rules. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. Um, dudes come through, they follow the path and get to the end. They will do damage to the end if you take 20 damage. That's the end of it. One of the interesting things that this does, uh, two things that this does, is the longer you are idle, doing nothing, the more you, the player, levels up and the more damage your sword does. This encourages you moving as efficiently as possible so you can be idle for as long as possible. Also of note, um, first round, you will want to go over here and drop an arrow turret. One on either side. You saw me pause just a moment there, you see now I'm idle, I will move up so I can grab some coins. You saw me pause a moment ago, that's because I am not doing this all from memory, so I'm trying to edit out any downtime of me, like, checking and looking up on stuff. Now, this block defense here is 25 waves, so it'll be a little ways. Um, the other thing I mentioned that was kind of interesting uh, that this does is it gives a bonus to you at the end of each wave. That bonus is a percentage of the money that you have on you. Essentially, this encourages building as little as possible, so you have as much money as possible on you at the end of the wave, so you get as much money as possible from the bonus. It'll eventually get to the point, if you're efficient enough, that you're making more money from the bonus than you can spend per wave. Slowly building up a little bit of money, so get both of those up to level 2, and we are back to waiting. Now this isn't perfect. I'm trying to estimate where they're gonna die. Sometimes I will need to assist with your sword. I'm doing my best not to, but you still may need to, so be ready for that when needed. Like this wave especially. Actually, I may not need to on this wave. It depends if the zombies actually get ahead. If only, like, one is getting through every now and then, it's not a big deal, and you can rely on that one turret. Yeah, it seems to be doing... Seem to be doing... Yeah, this one's fine. Didn't need to help at all. Also of note is, like, I could run up and stab that one and end that a lot quicker. But the longer I wait, the longer I can idle. Which means getting more experience. Now, this wave, I'm still kind of skirting not having much money. You wanted, I wanted to upgrade the right one to level 3. I also want to upgrade the left one to level 3, but I don't have enough money for it. So, as soon as I have enough money, I'll loop around and upgrade that one. Now, I will say from the strategy that I found, I do believe they missed a step. Uh, and then every few waves, a Black Knight will come through. This Black Knight, when he's quite a bit tougher than the others, but 
he drops a crystal. Now you can ta use that crystal go to go talk to the merchant up here and buy various new towers. You can also buy a bonus up, which means now I get 10% of my bonus back, which is pretty all right. For the most part, I'm going to be buying bonus ups. I don't need that many new towers. In fact, I only buy one new tower in this entire thing. If you've got enough dudes going through... Oh, almost got hit there. If you actually have enough dudes going through and doing damage to the end, you can buy a life up. However, what we're shooting for here is a perfect win. A perfect win, if you just win, regular old-fashioned win, you get 100 gold as your prize. And that's fine and all, but not exactly worth the time. What you're after is a perfect win. A perfect win will get you a small block. Now, a perfect win means not only does nobody get through to the far end, but it also means I don't get hit by any of the enemies. Me getting hit doesn't do damage to the actual, like, thing we're defending, whatever it is, getting off the other side or whatever. Me getting hit doesn't lose any damage for that, but when I get hit, some of my money will go flying out, kind of like Sonic getting hit. And of course, I don't think you can ever pick up as much money as you lost every time you get hit. So, not only do I have to prevent absolutely everything from getting through to the other side, but I can't get hit either. Now, as I said, I am following a bit of a guide. Somebody came up with a really good strategy for this one, and I'm using that strategy. However, some things, something got left out. I'm not sure what or where. It may have even been... No, it wasn't this round. Or it wasn't this way. Um, somebody, or something got left out. Um, building a tower at some point got left out. So there is one particular point where I would say... I think my strategy here, my adapted strategy, my, in other words, my getting by with one less tower because, whoops, um, it still works out really well, but I would suggest building a one of the towers that I build one turn sooner. You'll see that when I get to it. Not a big deal dealing with him. I didn't really even need to stab him. He's got enough health left now, but by the time he loops back around to these things, he'll be taken out. There we go, we get our crystal, so we once again go buy another bonus up. Um, of note is if you buy a life up, you cannot get a perfect win. Even if you never get hit and nothing ever makes it to the other side, if you bought a life up, you will not get a perfect win. Man, these guys are quick. I will become the fourth turret! So bring up the final turret to level 3, so now we should have three level 3 turrets. And from here, I'm just sort of idling. I think these will be good enough here that we'll never fall behind. So I shouldn't need to sword, I should be able to just stand here and idle and get as much experience as I can. Um, the level cap for the player is 10. So you want to hit up, you want to hit level 10 as soon as possible. Once you've hit level 10, go to town. Start smacking dudes because idling doesn't get you anything after that. I'm starting to build up a decent amount of money here, and that is actually very good for our bonus.
next wave, I still think I shouldn't need to do anything this wave. Now you can see what's coming up on the right. I'm kind of- I'm sorry I'm standing, like, right in the middle of everything. Actually, I may need to help on this one. Sorry I'm standing right in the middle of the arrows, but I'm trying to stand in the most efficient place to get money and not have to move. These things are slow enough, it's not a huge deal, but... Now you can see off to the right what's coming in this wave and what's coming in the later waves. And there are different types of enemies. There are ground-based and air-based enemies. Now, the arrows here, I believe, hit both. So I'm just building a bunch of arrow turrets because they work on everything. Now, the building another tower, bringing it up to level three. We're not hitting them, we're not bringing them all up to level four yet, just bringing them up to level three. Now, may need to help here as well, because these bunnies are, uh, I got some meat behind them. Oh, I think this here is actually the one where I would have suggest I would suggest building another turret. I build a turret next wave, build that turret this wave instead, because I was way behind. Way behind and on doing enough damage to get by. Like this the dark the night made it through and I've got nothing. Nothing. He's actually far enough over, I, can't, I couldn't even grab the crystal. I had to stab the crystal to get it. Right there, I bought a bonus up, and here I build another turret. This turret that I'm building now, build it previous wave. Still just bringing everything up to level 3. But yeah, um, that turret built it previous wave because that was that was terrible. Other than that, everything should be able to go as is going. With our new turret, everything is dying fast enough. And I okay, it looks like I'm just idling. I wasn't sure if I was gonna build another tower or not. Now I know that the I know that the strategy that I was following was behind, um, left something out because at one point they tell you to upgrade all six of your towers to level four, and I only had five towers. Other than that, this seems pretty sane. I'm moving around some because I'm trying to get to a place where the coins will actually land on me. Or at least close enough for them to fly towards me. Alright, I guess we're still just waiting. Make do with what we have. The farther that we can get with the towers that we have, the better. Because if we can make do with the towers that we have, we're not spending as much money and we're getting a lot more money via bonus. I mean, just last round, I got a hundred gold bonus at the end of that. Hundred and twenty-six there. Okay, this is it. Where after this it said upgrade all of your towers to level four 
or all, all six of your towers to level four. And I only had five towers, so I built another tower here. And it would make more sense if I had that other tower, considering I was falling behind on the previous round, and especially black back for the bunny and dark knight round. I needed another tower. But, for the most part, this strategy is actually working, as is. I would just suggest building the tower that I built after the Bunny and Dark Knight round, before the Bunny and Dark Knight round. Another Dark Knight, but with all the towers, we're actually doing pretty well. Don't really even need to stab him, though I did a couple times. Now this time, we're actually buying a slow tower. We're not buying another bonus up. We're not building one just yet, though. Instead, we're building more arrow towers. Get that sucker all the way up to level 4. May not quite be enough, but it looks like we're doing pretty alright. Help with sword if need be. Yeah, we got this. Now this is where we're building our first slow tower. Just leave it at level one, we're just setting it out on the field. We'll get them upgraded over time. It's not really doing all that much good right now, but it does a wonder once you get the thing upgraded more. Still just waiting. I guess we're good for the next wave. Now, these guys are already moving slow enough. I've got enough damage. These guys are not gonna do much for me. Like my bottom, my bottom arrow tower wasn't even firing for a while there. So yeah, we should be able to. We should be able to just wait out this entire thing easy. And we're level 9 now, which means we should be hitting level 10 soon-ish. And once we hit level 10, we don't have to worry about idling. There we go. Build another slow tower up here. Are we leveling it up to max or just 3? Looks like we're maxing it. Run across, try not to get, get hit by a bunny, and max out the other tower as well. So now all of our towers should be at level 4. And now you can see those towers really slow those things down. I would suggest, however, to put these two towers catty corner to each other. Because right now I think they're shooting the same target which isn't doing nearly as much good as it could be doing. So instead of right across from each other, I would suggest putting those caddy corner. Now this Dark Knight, he, he doesn't stand too much of a chance here. Grab the crystal, buy another bonus up. And from here on out, we're just buying more bonus ups. These guys have a lot of HP, but between the slow and that many turrets, they're actually not doing much. They don't move super fast all on their own, so that works out. Still doing pretty well, though, just with our... Seven level four arrow turrets and our two uh, level four slow turrets. In fact, I don't even know if we really need to build much more. Maybe another arrow turret?
There's not a huge amount more we even need to build by the end of this. Maybe one more turret, maybe a slow turret? We'll get to that when we get to it, though. For the moment, we're fine. 181 gold as the bonus for that one. Yeah, we're still good, just waiting out the next round. Trying to idle for as long as possible here. Because, um, the higher level you are, the more you have to idle to hit the next level. Hitting max level takes a substantial amount of waiting around. So for the most part here, I'm just letting the towers do their work because I really want to hit level 10. And there we go, level 10! Now I can run around and do all the stabbing and stuff myself. I can be another turret. Be the Naka turret. Even the Dark Knight's probably not going to do too terribly good. He's getting worn down. The slow should wear off here soon-ish. But, no, there we go. Grab that, buy another bonus up. And we're still just waiting. Oh, no, I guess we're building one more arrow turret. At this point, you just have you have to max everything up. A uh, level one arrow turret is not going to do much good. Two more level four arrow turrets. Once again, we're doing pretty handy. And this is the point where I don't actually think we need to build anything else. We should be good for this wave and we should be good up until wave 25. I guess we're building a slow turret just for the sake of it. Oh yeah, against these guys we'll actually want another slow turret. Man, those guys are quick. Ah, and that brings us to t wave 25, the last of waves. Now, at this point with wave 25, you're not going to get any more bonuses because you're at the end. So you're not going to... You don't have any reason to carry money around because the only reason to carry money around is so you get a big bonus. So, spend that money. Waste it on everything. I will build as many turrets as feasibly possible. Now, I want to say this strategy actually worked out because I was down a turret. I had more money, gained more bonus, and because I was really careful about where I was standing, I was doing a lot better off than the strategy that I was going off of. Um, what I was reading off of said that you should have about 500 gold left once you get to wave 25, and I had about 1500 gold left. So. I want to say this strategy actually works out pretty well. I don't know how much building that one tower a turn earlier would do, but I very much doubt it would do a thousand gold difference. And, and at this point, I'm just kind of having fun. With 500 gold left, it pretty much just says build as many arrow turrets as you can. I'm building as much everything as I can because I have a lot of money. Build a slow tower down there because, I don't know, what if somebody gets that far? Maybe. 
what if somebody gets this far? I want to make sure they stay slowed down so all these turrets can keep hitting them. And I'll build a cannon because I haven't seen what a cannon does. I still have enough money left. One more, one more arrow. If anybody can get through that, props to them. I'm not even stabbing them. I'm just getting the money. Maybe I'll get enough money to build another turret. Now, just the regular dudes aren't going to be a huge deal, but at the end of this, more knights come. In fact, more than one. Fighting off three knights is going to be a little bit more of a challenge. Sort of. So there we go! That is a perfect clear of the very first block defense. Other than the one issue at the one point with a uh, knight that nearly made it through, that did it. So, until next time, everyone. <laughs>